action out of the fact that Constitution 2010 is in place. And so, if it was not that for Constitution, some of us would be in detention for sure. Therefore, Adams, those of our fellow countrymen who struggled for democracy in this country remain our heroes today. Because of them, we have now established a tradition where even if you are president, Lugu Raila, if you are the president today, you will require <laughs> William Ruto as leader of your position. I saw last night during the address of the State of the Nation by President Joe Biden, perhaps the biggest democracy in our Constitution 2010 is fashioned in a very straight way, very strong way along the American Constitution. He had to go there and plead with Speaker, the Speaker who is Republican, after Nancy Pelosi left. You now the Republicans have gotten the leadership of, of the Congress. Now, William Ruto and his people did not have to, to cannibalize our majority. He could still have come and say, let's have a, a bipartisan approach. Joe Biden was there. This is a country we are in now. You cannot, you cannot, you cannot cannibalize democracy in this country. It will not happen. Not under Constitution 2010. Therefore, I just want to encourage us to be very strong and very focused. Very strong and very focused. Uh, I had uh, one day say that even if you are left 50 of you or two or one, I think the Jeanette who said even if it's one, you are still the majority. This is a mi the minority. But this is a team. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to encourage all of us tomorrow to talk in Amnahi, <laughs> to end the Mavoko, this will be a rally enough. Because as I told you, if you don't do that, if you don't decide in your own mind and your own spirit that you want to be part of the action, please do not blame your constituents when after four years or thereabouts, they throw you out. Do you think these people who went to State House today, uh, the ones who went the other day, if there's an election to be called, would they really? Poor Jalango. In fact, I was looking for him. I'm still going to look for Jalango. Because he was here. We must also exercise tolerance. <laughs> when somebody wants to say sorry, don't throw them out. <laughs> ah, I see that is a, a point of departure. I will not withdraw my remarks. <laughs> uh, I will not withdraw my remarks. But imagine the state of mind poor Jalango is in. Because Kibra now is his hostile ground. You know, you are supposed to enjoy, you are supposed to enjoy your tour of duty as a, an MP for your constituency. Let me tell you, I must congratulate our brother Tim Wanyonyi. And I'll tell you why. His brother is Speaker of the National Assembly. But he is elected on an ODM ticket in Nairobi. And he's here. And he's not afraid. <laughs> if anybody was to go to State House, surely Tim Wanyonyi should have been leading them. Because the Speaker is there. <laughs> my brother, my brother who forgot his uh, struggling brother when we were eating tear gas with him and Tinga. My friends, time is extremely of the essence. What you decide to do out of Manzoni today and tomorrow may shape your future positive progression in elective politics. And don't say you are nominated because even then you may want to run at some stage. So I want to thank all of you for standing firm. This is a time to stand very firm and stand up and be counted. An opportunity like this is very rare, where leadership is expected of you. Please do not allow your, so that it will be said that the 13th parliament was the parliament that brought down the democratic gains that this country had made. So, maybe start Kongia Sana because I just wanted to share those thoughts. 
Um, and before I invite uh, my brother Eugene to come and greet you, um, and and so 